often when you're working with the volume of 3D shapes, you're given side lengths of some shape and you're asked to calculate what the volume of that shape has to be. But sometimes you have to work backwards. Sometimes a problem will give you the volume of a shape and maybe it'll tell you one of the lengths, but it'll ask you to work backwards to figure out what another length is. So in this video I'm going to show you how to calculate what the height of a cylinder has to be if you're given the volume and you're given the radius of that cylinder. So first we have to start with the formula. V, the volume, is equal to pi times the radius squared times the height. I'm actually going to show you two ways to do it. The first way is uh, the way that I've found uh, my students seem to understand the best. Uh, it's the clearest and they, they, I think they have the most success when they use this method. Although I don't think it's the greatest method, but it's the way that they seem to understand the best. So first I'm going to put the numbers from the problem into the formula. The volume is given to us as 250.9. There's pi. The radius is 3.2, so I'm going to go times 3.2 to the second power times height. So the height is what I want to solve for there. I know everything else. The first step I'm going to take after putting the numbers in there is I'm going to multiply those two numbers together. So I'm going to have two, still have 250.9 on the left hand side. Let's find what pi times 3 to the second power is. So I'll just get my calculator out. I'm going to use the pi key. Pi times 3.2 to the second power equals 32.1. 1699. The problem asks us to round our final answer to the nearest tenth. So what I think I'm going to do to avoid some rounding errors, I'm going to keep a couple of those decimal places. So let's just say this is 32.17. So 32.17 times the height. So now I know the height, whatever it is, multiplied by 32.17 is equal to 250.9. Well, how do I solve for what the height has to be? How do I get rid of this time thir times 32.17? Let's do the opposite of it. Let's divide by 32.17. And 32.17 divided by 32.17 is just 1, leaving h all by itself on the right hand side. And if I divide this side by 32.17, I'm going to divide this side by 32.17. So let's go 250.9 divided by 32.17 equals 7.799. If I'm rounding to the nearest tenth, let's just round that up to 7.8 and these measurements were in meters so I know my height is 7.8 meters tall. So that seems to work the best. If you take these numbers that you know, you multiply them together and then to get h by itself you just divide by that number, divide both sides, you'll get your height. Another way that you can do it, avoiding some of that rounding error. Sometimes if you round too many times your final answer might be a tenth off. So another way that you can do that is let's rewrite that same problem. So I'm going to do 250.9 is equal to pi times 3.2 squared times height. Instead of multiplying these together, let's just divide this side by pi times 3.2 oops, 3.2 squared. And I know Let's just divide right away. Pi divided by pi is 1, and 3.2 squared divided by 3.2 squared is equal to 1, so h is by itself. But now let's divide this side by pi times 3.2 squared. You have to be careful though. Let's put that in parentheses. If we put it in parentheses, when we enter that into our calculator, the calculator will know to do that first multiply these numbers together first and then divide it into 250.9. So if I do 250.9 divided by parentheses pi times 3.2 squared, close those parentheses, I hope you can see these numbers in the calculator screen, kind of, I get 7.799 which still rounded to the nearest tenth is 7.8. 7.8 meters. That way I think works better 
it avoids rounding errors altogether, but somehow when I tell my students to divide uh, by both sides and put parentheses around here, somehow they, they just don't really get what they're doing and they um, it doesn't seem to click with them like what they do here. This first method seems to make more sense. This way, avoid some of that rounding error. Use whichever way you want. Good luck on these types of problems.